Hello and welcome. You're listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment. In this segment, we're going to be speaking with Jake Orville. He's joining us here from Exact Sciences to talk about Exact Sciences' multi-cancer earlier detection technology. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Jake Orville. Neil, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Well, uh, give our listeners a a bit of uh, insight into what it is that you do. Tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, touch on Exact Sciences' uh, mission, if you would. Sure, Neil. Thank you. Over the last 20 plus years, I've had the honor to help bring some really innovative solutions to patient care uh, with a few different companies across several different disease areas, uh, most recently in cardiovascular disease and now at Exact Sciences uh, focused on oncology. Now, most of your listeners will recognize Exact Sciences more by our two industry leading products, Cologuard and Oncotype. Cologuard is a non-invasive colon cancer screening test, and Cologuard looks for altered DNA and or blood in the stool that could be caused by a precancerous polyp or by colon cancer. Cologuard has now been used, Neil, by over 6 million Americans, half of which had never been screened before. Oncocytes, that family of tests, looks for unique genomic signatures in the tissue of a cancer patient And it helps identify therapies that are most effective for that patient or, at times, not effective at all. Our Oncotype tests have now been used by more than a million people, and it helps answer that critical question, especially for early breast cancer patients, will I benefit from chemotherapy? Now, at Exact Neil, I lead the pipeline, and I work with collaborators such as Mayo Clinic, John Hopkins, and others. And our team is working really hard to develop additional tests in addition to Oncoguard, mm-hmm. or I'm sorry, uh, Cologuard and Oncotype mm-hmm. to address all stages across the cancer journey before cancer, during cancer, and then after diagnosis. Now, I understand that you recently presented at BioIT in Boston, and uh, there you made a statement cancer is detected too late. Are we still detecting cancer too late? What exactly did you mean by that statement? We all know someone with cancer. Um, In fact, one in two men and one in three women will develop cancer in their lifetime. And that makes cancer the second leading cause of death here in the United States, which is astonishing. We also know how devastating a diagnosis of cancer can be. Now, the good news is with all the advances in targeted and immunotherapies, Living with cancer, beating cancer, it's no longer just a hope. It's now really can be a reality. And what I said at the conference, and I'll say again here today, is as great as those therapies are, Neil, there's still no therapy as effective as early detection. Simply put, cancer is detected way too late. And the numbers that support that are astonishing. When cancer is detected early, nine in 10 survive. When cancer is caught late, After it's spread, only one in 10 survives. Now, just think about that difference. So the question is, if that difference is so so stark, why aren't we detecting more cancers earlier? We've got these great standard of care screening programs for a number of cancers, breast cancer, colon cancer, cervical cancer, prostate, and lung for heavy smokers. And those are great programs. But it might surprise you and, and your listeners to know that in aggregate, those five screening programs only account for 30% of cancers diagnosed on an annual basis. So as far as science technology have come, our current screening tools, screening tools only address 30% of those cancers that are diagnosed 30%. And that means we don't have routine ways to screen for a staggering 70% of cancers. And that includes some of the deadliest like ovarian, pancreatic, and and liver. Mm -hmm. I'm sure many of the providers listening to this podcast have the experience of going through a battery of tests for patients who present with signs or symptoms. And you're always asking yourself, you know, what does this, what does this mean? <laughs> what is this diagnostic odyssey and, and, and how difficult can that become? We're working, Neil, to develop a blood-based multi-cancer early detection test that's capable of screening for multiple cancers through a simple, single blood draw. Our goal with this program is to fill that 70% void that exists today. 
And as I said, and the numbers support, when cancer is detected early, especially by screening methods, before signs and symptoms appear, typically you're going to have a better outcome because in most cases you found that cancer earlier in the earlier stages of its progression. Now, would this multi-cancer screening test that you're talking about, would it replace uh, the traditional screenings like mammograms, pap smears, and things of that nature? Because the small percentage of detection, is it because each of these uh, methods only detects one type of cancer? That's exactly right. And so first, no, no, not at all. This multi-cancer early detection program is, is not meant to um, change or, or alter those standard of care screenings. It, it, the multi-cancer tests are both additive and complementary to those standard of care screening. And that's going to give people the greatest opportunity to detect cancer at those earliest stages possible. And in fact, Neil, we, we conducted a groundbreaking study that demonstrated just how powerful adding a blood test to the standard of care screening and how powerful that can be. We did this first of its kind uh, perspective interventional study. We enrolled 10,000 women who were given our blood test and also carried out with their standard of care screenings. Now, importantly, these 10,000 women had no prior history or even suspicion of cancer, and that was the criteria for enrolling into this study. 96 women. Neil, or about 1% went on to be diagnosed with cancer. And that's exactly what you would expect to see in a broad screening-based population, about a 1% cancer incidence. Now, 25% or 24 of those 96 women, they were diagnosed by that standard of care screening. They were, this mirrors what, what we see today, about, ha- about a quarter, if you will, of the cancers that are found um, by screening. That's exactly what we saw in these 24 of the 96 women. But our blood test, by adding our blood test, we identified an additional 26 women who weren't diagnosed by the standard of care screening and weren't yet showing symptoms. That means that by adding our blood test, we were able to double the number of cancers that were first detected by screening alone. And for the first time in a real world study published in one of the industry leading journals, Science, We demonstrated that it is possible to detect more cancers earlier with a simple blood draw. Is that what excites you most about uh, your product pipeline? Are there uh, other innovations from Exact Sciences? There's a lot of innovations, you know, that are that are coming forward. This is one that obviously we're very focused on and we know how big of an impact um, it can have with two million people diagnosed every year with cancer and 70 percent of those diagnosed, you know, not part of one of those routine screening programs. We're obviously very excited about that. Um, And I think, you know, we feel what was science fiction to our parents and our grandparents is now becoming reality. Uh, Decades of research, cancer biology, advances in technology, it now really enables us to analyze DNA in a way that we've never analyzed before. And also proteins and other signals circulating through the human body. All of these advances mean more options for providers like the listeners here today, which we know will translate into better decision making for the providers and the patients. We know that that will make an impact. And we know that a day when as part of your wellness exam, at the same time, you'll be able to screen for multiple cancers. We know that that vision is really a lot sooner than everyone thinks. Jake, give us a website where we can learn more about Exact Sciences and the technologies that you're developing there. Sure. You know, I think exactsciences.com is the best place to go to that will uh, describe there about this program and also other programs that we're working on. Well, I appreciate you joining us here on the program this morning. It's been a pleasure, and I'm hoping that we'll speak again in the future. Thanks, Neil. It's an honor. I appreciate all what you do, and uh, thanks for the opportunity. Thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Jake Orville of Exact Sciences. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.